something I wanted to show you today. I picked up one of these they're supposedly water resistant. Um, it's got the voltage, two USB ports, and a regular cigarette lighter, 12 volt socket. Uh, three holes, about one inch. But I haven't decided if I'm going to put it here and put a shelf either up here or um, some sort of basket or something so we can put our cell phones and things, plug them into the USB and leave them so you're not coming all the way in and out of the RV to, to charge stuff or you know when we're driving you can just plug it in and then put your cell phone in a little basket or a little shelf here. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do this side or the other side of the door. You know, here's the cab. If I'm going to do it here. Now, I thought about doing it here only because sitting on the couch of the dinette, I'd have a good view of the voltage meter. But if I put it on this side, I have a good view or a good connection for the dinette table here, which is a mess because I'm doing electrical work. You know, it becomes a workstation. So I haven't decided yet. But we'll see. The way I'm going to hook them up is inside, you see these, if you guys can see that in there, I'm not sure what kind of light is like. Uh, that white plastic cover. Let me uh, open this door up right here. There's 12 volt power in there. Now it's, I'm pretty sure it's for the fantastic fan and these lights, not all of them. Um, because there's three different circuits that control the lights in the fuse box. But uh, because I changed all the bulbs to LEDs and a few other things, I'm pretty sure that there's enough amperage left now from that circuit to be able to handle a USB charger. I mean, I wouldn't run an inverter or anything else off of the cigarette, light cigarette lighter adapter. It would really just be for uh, charging, you know, maybe running a air pump if needed, something like that, but not not running, uh, you know, like an inverter or something like that. I'll connect it with 18 gauge wire. I have some here with some blue quarter inch insulated crimp connectors, and but I haven't decided where I'm going to drill the holes. I hate drilling one inch holes in the wood, but you know something, it'll look nice there and it can always be covered up with something else if I was to change it. So, let me get measuring. Let me First let me decide where I'm going to put it between the two places and then we'll get measuring out the holes and get it mounted. Alright, well, I decided let's put it right here. Um, I did have a problem. I was making it level and I realized that the cabinet is not level. So when I drew the line to make it level, it looked way off. So I just measured down from the ceiling and did it that way so that at least it looks square uh, to the cabinet. And then I figure I'll put a shelf here or here. I'm not, haven't 100% decided if I'm going to put one here. Um, and then we can put our chargers, our battery packs, and just plug them in and keep them charged right there. And also, I can open the door and look at the voltage um, during boondocking if I'm spending any extended time, uh, which I'm sure I will. Now to solve the problem on this side, I've decided to put a 12 volt socket in the bottom. All right, you can see how I first put the plate on, I took it off, scoring to make sure that I got the center and that it's level and all that good stuff. And I'm using a hole saw. I think this is an inch and an eighth or inch and a quarter. I'm not a completely sure but now we'll drill the holes out and get this sucker mounted all right three nice holes you can see where i put the two little screws in just to hold the plate while i marked it use it as a template all right here we go we have dual usb ports one one amp one 2.1 amps five volts voltage dc voltage and a regular accessory outlet you know, standard cigarette lighter type outlet. Little dust covers for them. I think it looks really good. Inside, they're not wired yet, but inside here, 
You can see the quarter blades. Um, what I've got is insulated crimp-on connectors. I wanted the insulated ones so that if they do come out, I know I won't get a short. All right. So what I've, got, I've done is I made a jumper to connect all the reds and I left one tail out. I'm actually going to swap them so this tail is on the back side. I don't know why I put it on that way. It's supposed to be over here. But then I'm going to run a wire to the light plug here. See, these are the lights. Um, this one goes to the small light right below this cabinet. And I'm going to tap into that light. Being that it's only a uh, LED bulb in there and the fact that this is 18 gauge wire. Um, I think there's more than enough capacity on this wiring to handle a USB charger and a voltage uh, monitor. So I'm just going to tap in here. I used a multimeter to check which color is positive and negative. And in this rig here, white is usually always negative. All right, guys, so here's the plug for the lamp that was underneath that plastic corner piece. Uh, the rig's got them all throughout. Every cabinet's got one of these plugs for the lights and whatnot. And for low voltage, uh, low amperage type stuff like a voltmeter or a USB uh, outlet, I think they'll be fine, especially upon converting all the lights to LEDs. Um, and they're on like a 10 amp fuse, they're already fused, so I'm fine with just hooking them direct. Well, as you can see, batteries at 12.4. Um, I have good outlets now, USB chargers. I didn't realize it was blue LED. I don't think they consume much power, but uh, I might put a switch in to turn this on and off. Maybe put it in the cabinet or put it over here. I haven't decided yet. Uh, just so it's not always on. So, you know, save every milliamp I possibly can. Um, but we'll see if it becomes a problem. If I start running out of power and stuff, then I'll start looking at ways of shutting things off. So battery's at 12.4. Now when I start turning lights on and everything else, that's going to drop a little bit. As you can see, I lost 0.2 by turning on all the, uh, the lights. So that's because, you know, you're using power on that line. Um, but I think that's perfect. Inside, I haven't put it back together yet. Uh, we got a light here. Uh, you can see where I tapped in. Uh, these I'm just going to attach up out of the way. The yellow is positive, the white is negative, and that's how I have it hooked up with the wire nuts or wire uh, taps. There you go, jumped. Nice and clean install. Now we'll put it all back together. You know, this little plastic thing goes up over it like that and I'll drill a hole in it and just reattach everything and put all the wires out of the way. All right, another project done. Perfect. I like it.